This is the plaintiff, Jennifer Perillo. She says the defendants are her nasty neighbors who maliciously hacked up her fence, destroying the thing, and they refused to replace it. The defendants lost it when she told the zoning people in her town how they plan to pave their yard so they could ride their motorcycle around. And they retaliated by wrecking her property. How immature. She's suing for $3,567.95, the cost of a new fence. These are the defendants, Brian and Linda Smith. Brian says the fence in question is their fence. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's right, the plaintiff's a nosy neighbor who should mind her own business. Bottom line, the fence was theirs to do with as they pleased, and they did. They're accused of not being very neighborly. All parties, please raise your right hand. Put against have been torn, Your Honor. Thank you. You're welcome, man. All right, Ms. Perillo, you are suing your neighbors, Brian and Linda Smith, for damages because, according to you, they tore down your fence. Yes, Your Honor. Can I ask you, how long have you two lived next door to each other? Um, they bought their property in 2016. I had already owned mine since 2013. Okay. And when they moved in, were did you folks introduce yourselves to each other or...? That's no. a thing of the past. <laughs> no, <Yeah>. it, <laughs> unfortunately, yes. Um, no, it, it's really, we really didn't. Okay, um, when did the we, problems first start? Because my understanding is that there have been problems over and over. So when did the problems first start? Um, there's always, on our street, there's always parking issues and things of that nature. So that's been going on a while. The Who had a problem with the parking issue? It was basically his complaint that my vehicles or friends' vehicles or visitors would park in front of his home. Okay. All right, and then what happens? In about February of 2019, my husband and I noticed, and so did the neighbors, um, that all of the landscaping in front of, of the defendant's home was being removed. In front or in back? All around. Okay. The entire property, um, which was fine. You know, you can remove landscaping. Um, and we went away for my husband's birthday, and my neighbor called and said that the defendant was taking down portions of my fence. And I have a doggy door, so the dog can come and go as he pleases. It's my daughter's dog. Um, and when the pieces of my fence started being removed, obviously the dog's going out the doggy door, and woohoo, now I have, you know, free reign of the neighborhood. Um, so How long was your dog roaming? I, that, I can't honestly oh, say I know. Okay. It was so kind what of happened? Why was the fence being torn down? We were trying to get our concrete, as I did in a letter on March 24th and posted to their, their house, uh, fence slash concrete. And it's please be advised that due to the fence between our properties owned by us, just informed by her husband, um, and also the look of the fence, uh, the ugly side facing us, um, Does that mean it's assumed, owned by you? We assume that. Why? I, I think the assumption is contrary to, like, I think that the people put the pretty side facing them well, a the, lot. The etiquette is not. Well, the etiquette. Oh, okay. Hold on. Give me the Miss Manners book where they talk about fences. Well, I mean, if Who, you. So you started to rip down a fence based on four, the position of We took four of it? sections down that, we, that was attached Does to the fence. Does anyone have any photos yes. before the destruction of the fence? Oh. So yes, I can Robert. see whose houses it attaches to. And you you made a statement a second ago. We just found out it was our fence from her husband. Explain that. Here. Explain that. Ma'am, you well, said... I'm going to let my husband discuss okay, it. Okay, you started to say, or she started to say, we just found out it was our fence. Your Honor, when we moved to the property, try to make relations, good neighbor relations as... How did you try? Physically, hello, when they're out that kind of thing, um, just to let them know that we're, we're here and and uh, if you have any questions, you need anything. Tell me what happened with the fence was so my question. So when it comes to the fence, as the parking issue started to get a little heated, you know, there's an exchange of conversation. Oh, tell me about that. How did and, it get heated? Well, it got heated in the sense that Derek would respond by saying, you know, I can't put a fence. You got your fence on my property. So when I did he say this, that? 2018, 2017, 2018, and then um, I have actual dates and times and issues. I started logging it into my iPhone and the notes because him shooting birds, throwing dog feces, oh, no. um, um, shooting and, and saying to my wife and to me. Do you have video of that? 
I have video. There's a 30 second video of, of the, the dog, dog feces. Poo. Uh, Do that... you have a dog? No, no we don't. And we did not know that they had a dog. That's we good. That's a quiet dog. Definitely wouldn't have taken down the fence had we known that they were had a dog that went outside. Okay. How does all this uh, dog feces end up? Uh... On his property. I have no idea. We do have several dogs in the neighborhood. We're not the only ones with the dog. Um, and Yeah, but the property's fenced the, in, so the well, dogs the, from the hood are not coming. Our um, gate is not up. No, they don't have a fence around oh, their property have a at all. And the... Um, is your husband here? Yes. Is he here here, like yes. in this courtroom? Mm -hmm. oh, why isn't he up next to you? Why is he leaving I, you to hold the bag? Where is he? Hi. I really want to talk to you. Will you come forward? Come on up. There we go. Can you raise your right hand, please? You saw me swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Yes. Can you tell me about the fence? What's the question about the what, fence? The question is, did you tell him your fence is on my property? At that point, we didn't know for sure the fence was ours. Mm -hmm. How do you know mm -hmm. for sure now? Because we found the stakes in the ground after the fence was partially destroyed. All right. So, but you had told him that it was on his property. We believe that may have well, been, yes, that, that, that would right. be correct. In 2017. Okay, well, I'm wait. sorry. That would be correct. Oh, I can see why she didn't pull you up as a witness. Now you're a hostile witness <laughs> and sorry. she's correct. <laughs> what were you saying in 2017, what? No, um, these are pictures of, because I was unable to get, I took pictures of the property markers in my front and backyard and then ran string line all the way down to yeah, show. Yeah, but how will that tell me where It'll, the fence was before and the real, the does, dispo, no, because listen to, listen to what I'm gonna say. I'm sorry. This positive evidence is the survey. If mm -hmm. the survey shows your um, fence mm -hmm. that you say is your fence mm -hmm. on their property, like your husband thought, um, they can tear it down and they don't have to pay you for it. Okay. So that's really what the issue is. Have you had a chance to see this? The survey, I guess, is filed with the county. Is that where you got this survey? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, well, these pictures are something I want to talk about. Whose house is this that That's I'm showing you? ours. Here? So both houses have the fence connecting to both houses? Yes, and there's a letter in there from the previous owner of, of my home that yeah. states that he installed the fence. It doesn't matter who installs okay. it. It matters where it sits. If, okay. you, if you install it on your, you know, first of all, It'd be nice if you knew that before your husband was telling him, um, get your fence off my property. See, this is the problem, folks. What's if it like? Stop talking and listen to me. <laughs> Sorry. What is it like to have the Hatfields and the McCoys living next door to each other like this? Terrible. What is it? This is a rhetorical question. <laughs> Terrible. Okay? Because, you know, your home is your castle. And mm -hmm. one would think when you come home that you folks could actually have some peace. Mm -hmm. So what's it like to hate your neighbor this much? Where, oh, again, it's a rhetorical <laughs> question. <laughs> Got it. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. I cannot answer this question. I'm begging for an answer. Why can people who normally get along with everybody not get along with their neighbors? You know what, I think it's because we're so isolated nowadays. We don't take the time to really get to know our neighbor. We don't go over and introduce ourselves. So um, it's really easy for us to, to separate ourselves from our neighbors and not establish a connection. That's a fair point. What do you say? Um, I don't know, what about you? Oh, I got a co-host today. <laughs> Ego, pride, lack of common sense. This lack of common sense, yeah. I'll buy that, sir. I'll have to say competition. I think that's yeah. something you said, you know. Keeping up with the Joneses. Absolutely, absolutely. Keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> oh, going inside the courtroom. What is it like to have this kind of a miserable relationship with your neighbor where you mm -hmm. argue about public parking, mm -hmm. you rip down fences while they're on vacation and do a dog escape, Oh, what's it like to be you guys? It's terrible. It's terrible. It's okay. got to stink. Your Honor. It's unfortunate. Honor? No, oh, but everybody Very wants to talk right now. Okay. No, I want you to listen mm -hmm. because you have a choice going forward. I am baking cookies for my new neighbor. <laughs> I have been meaning to do it for two weeks, but after this case, I am absolutely going to bake her cookies because mm -hmm. we haven't had a chance to meet other than from far. Mm -hmm. There is such a, have you ever had neighbors that you like? Yes, yes. right. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, what a difference to be able to have even a civil relationship, mm-hmm. a civil relationship with your neighbors. So I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to rule on your case in a second, but I also want to give you a piece of advice. Just call a truce in your lives. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't have to bake each other cookies, but maybe you could say to yourselves, this is so unpleasant. Mm-hmm. Let's have a beer together. Yeah. Or this is so unpleasant, let's just call a truce. Mm-hmm. Um, whatever mm-hmm. works for you. But it can't, it can't be pleasant to live the way you live. Now, let's discuss the fence. You are suing for thousands of dollars to replace the fence when it all boils down to one simple thing. Is the fence on your property or is the fence on their property? I can tell from the survey that your fence is on their property, just like your husband thought. I don't know where mm-hmm. your husband had gotten that from. Like, why did you feel that beforehand? Because you turned out to be right. I don't care, you know, the bottom line is the survey doesn't lie. I see the survey. I will give you a copy of the survey. Oh, I this, have, I have, you have a copy it. So you know that that fence was on their property. You may not know the law. It's not on their property. May I show you? You, you can may. show me pictures, but okay. pictures don't show me Sticks. where a property line it. You need to listen to what I'm okay. saying. An official listen survey is what a court has to go by, not pictures. Okay. Not only did you not bring me a survey, but they brought me a survey that they got from the county that shows the fence on their property. Okay. Okay. So I have no choice but to rule in their favor no. on this case okay. and rule that they do not have to pay for the replacement of the fence. Okay. Now this case is over, but the question is, is your collective angst over? Okay. Well, Don't... we never had one. Oh yeah, you do. All right. So I need you to listen to what I'm going to say. All right. Perhaps you can just, each of you be in a race, a race to civility. You really want to prove you're better? You can as much macho? Both of you just race to civility. And everyone here in front of me will have peace. Well, good luck to okay. you. Now, why does she think that she still has to talk? Because we didn't get to talk. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. You know what that's, I want you to look at me a second. Look at me a yes, second. Ma'am. That tells me the hostility because you just won the case and it's not enough for you. Thank Verdict you. for the defendants. Hmm. We're okay. We've always been okay. God bless. Well, that was kind of interesting. That sure was very interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, I haven't seen that before here How in are this you? courtroom. Everybody's coming out of the court. If you stand over there, please, oh, yes. so we can see you. Um, the judge just gave you all a lecture on trying to get along with each other. And, and, and you, I was worried. You kept wanting to talk to the judge. Anyway, you just hugged each other in the courtroom. Yes, How long is that feeling going to last? Oh, it, it okay. lasts. There's, even though we've been in this conflict, we really haven't had much nastiness. We haven't. We and haven't. it's not. It's not nasty. It's just a disagreement. And you can disagree among friends. You know, I got to tell you, Doug, the, the judge made such a good point that, you know, if you're in a neighborhood feud, solve it. Otherwise, it is going to ruin your life and your neighbor's life. And who wins then? Think about that.